Um, Why were you angry? Um, well, it was the like fuck love uh theme, uh, it, and it, it was a man. Yeah, it was a man, and he it's was a rapist. Well, actually, no, no, it it's was always a men. Yeah, no, no, no that it, part, it a, no, I'm not wait, saying wait, wait, always wait. men. It no, was a male. It was in that no, in that case. We don't, we don't like to categorize them as men. We like to categorize them as males. What, you see, there's a difference. There's a lot. What a lot of people don't understand. Oh, I that. need to know the difference. Wait, I want to hear your side of what <laughs> okay, you were yeah, saying. Oh no, I was just gonna say that at that point I was uh I would no, there was this guy that I had assaulted me in college and he got away with it because Yale sucks and I'm not at the reunion, which is the 10 year reunion this. This weekend, I'm not there because fuck you, fuck Yale. Yale. Yeah, well, that's um, right. <laughs> but yeah, like I fuck <laughs> Yale University. Um, but, <laughs> okay. Seriously, no, but um, but yeah. So uh -oh. I was just like I basically he got a slap on the wrist, and then I found out that like the day before that yeah. he had done it to multiple women in the oh. past decade. That's fucked. And Has I was just so yet? angry. No. He's a lawyer he's in New York wrong. City. Oh, wait, well, that, Before, no, that's the question. Why does that happen? He's a lawyer. Too. Well, I, I, I would definitely categorize him as, as a male then. Oh, yeah. So he doesn't, he's not earned the man title. And we can, we can talk about the difference between the two. She asked. Mm. Oh, God. <laughs> if you may. The, the man is the guy who you actually, you know, you feel comfortable around, you actually desire. And it's like, it's that guy. It's that guy. The guy. You both know the guy when you see the guy. Okay. He's the guy that you think about, you can't stop writing about. He's the guy that comes up in your dreams. He's the guy you think about when you, you know, awake. It's the guy who's honest with you with his intentions and knows who he is and knows what he wants and, and knows how he's going to conquer his life, has a plan, has structure, has organization to his life and knows what he's doing. The male, he's not the guy. <laughs> he never he's, is. He's the guy you make fun of with your girlfriends in the group chat oh. at work. <laughs> he's the guy that doesn't know what he wants. When you say... Hey, let's go out for eat. Uh, sorry, let's go out to eat. He says, "Okay, what do you want?" And you say, "I don't know what you want." That's the male. The male does not. He's not as always doing. He's very. What if I'm the male? Nose. Because I'm like that a lot. What do you want to eat? And I'm like, I don't know. So there's got to so be the polarity. The so there's got to be the you know, there's got to be the polarity there. But the male does not, and the male is also very emotionally unhinged. So he'll lose his shit any second. He's the guy. Oh, it sounds like who, my ex is. Oh well, okay. Well, there you go. go. There's the males. Okay, cool. So got males. he's the guy that <laughs> he's the guy that if he doesn't get what he wants, he doesn't just walk away and say, "Okay, cool, I'm, I'm gonna leave." What he does, he lashes out, argues with you, mm -hmm. calls you a, a bitch, and calls you all these names, and then he starts like banging, the, he punches a hole in the wall. He's up. Why are you, know. you describing my whole life? Oh, <laughs> I've seen things. Okay? She's like going through every. <laughs> You're making me have a moment. She's she's if having Vietnam flashbacks. <laughs> really, if you see me space out, just leave me there. I'm stuck. The so thousand yards. Now the man is is the guy who, like, he'll understand what he's about, and he'll be honest with you from day one, from minute one. He he won't lie to you. He's gonna tell you what it is, and if you don't like it, that's good. That's completely okay. You can walk away. You both go your separate ways. Cool. The male tries to lie and manipulate and tries to make you see things in a certain light so that he can get what he wants. For example, the guy who sees you for 10 dates and tries to fuck you but never says in the beginning, I'm just looking for sex. Well, he, he's trying to get the pussy by going on multiple dates and trying to win you over and be the friend and sneak his way in there. That's mm -hmm. the male. The man says, this is what I'm about. I'm just trying to fuck. If you're not about that, I'm just using it as an example. If you're not about that, that's cool. We can go separate ways. No problem. Have a good day. That's it. Mm -hmm. so there's, there's a big difference. Oh, yeah, totally. Big difference. For sure. Are you one of those males? Um, he's, no, I don't think so. He's not a male. I, I usually tell I usually tell the girls what, what it is and what I'm about, and I usually you know I try to get rid of them as quick. I feel like possible. we don't call those males; we call those little boys. I, I call well, those. Uh, well, males is, is the guy in his regular like state. He's just dick involved. He's not actual man. So there is, I think, the, I think male and man is the best categorization. Yeah. Personally, that's what I mean, that's what that's what we use. Yeah, I'm gonna use that going forward. Make people angry. They're gonna be like, what? <laughs> you're such a male. Wait, you're what? such a male. You're such a male. I'm gonna use that as an insult. They're not I'm gonna being understand. A male. Yeah, they're exactly. They're not gonna understand. But just say you gotta watch this podcast in order to understand what we're talking about. But yeah, but I think those are the kind of guys that you know. But it messes up. It's unfortunate because it messes up your whole perception of what what a man can really be. How did we get to this topic? Well, you asked, and I was upset with Bama. Oh, oh right, yeah. Right. Oh, I was You're asking about that. Well, don't worry. This is going to be asking about the bad. Like, what was uh, the And bad by the experience? way, I'm not a man hater. I'm a male hater. Okay, so <laughs> I'll, I'll, jump that. That. I'll jump with that. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cool. It's cool because because when you meet the guy, <laughs> when you meet that guy, mm -hmm. you can't. You could. You could hate to love that guy. I would love to hate, so to speak. Mm -hmm. It's like you. You cannot stand him, but it's like you just love when he's around. He's just waiting for him to text you back, even though you had a 16 hour shift. Like he's that guy. He's the guy, mm -hmm. that guy, the guy that uh, when other guys like try to talk to you, or flirt with you, you can't even give them the number. You can't even look at them because that guy's is in your mind. Is this the good guy or is this the male? 
So who are we talking? The man is the one that that you actually really want, and the the male is the one who's trying to convince you that 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 man is not good for you. Oh, he's such a you know he's he's not right for you. I would be I would be great for you. There's a lot of the, people you know. like that in the poetry scene. I've met them. They're incels. Yeah, they are. I also don't... think there's pressure. I think for like these so called males to like pressure men into like lowering their behavior. Well, here's in a the way. thing: yeah. the man does not allow allow the male to influence him that way because the man has structure in his mind and has a certain way he wants to live so no matter what the male does to try to get the man to change his mind the man knows what it's about and nothing will because he has his own his own mindset that cannot be changed by no one he dictates his own life so when the male says maybe you should do this the man yeah. says like you know i appreciate your ideas my friend but I, this, is, this is this is what i'm going to do and uh, you know, I like your ideas. I think it's he handles it in a modest Mike's way. like, how did we get on this topic? I love it. No, I love this. <laughs> this is this is the best. I love when we just go off on topics like this. It's right. Great. But I think it's important. Yeah, no, it is. You know, because I think a lot of because we've gone to shows where a lot of the girls, you know, you could tell. I'm talking about the girls specifically. They write. You could tell in their poetry, it's about a guy. Yeah. It's about that male. Well, mm -hmm. sometimes about that man when it's like a love poem because. Mm -hmm. Girls love to write about the guy that made her feel the one thing that the other males could not. And that's a powerful thing. I hide those poems. I only read them on Valentine's Day. But they exist. And never again. They, do, they exist. exist. <laughs> they do exist. They do yeah. exist. They do exist.